Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to another Costco grocery haul! Costco, baby! Costco, here we go! Costco, here we go! So you guys, we are here at Costco. Kids are, like, that's one of the awesome things about kids. They definitely let you know when you have no food. Yeah. So, or, no, actually, no snacks. Or, <laughs> literally, you have food and they always say, we don't have food. Yeah. So, Translation, we want all the snacks. Yeah, yeah. they want snacks. So. <laughs> We're here at Costco getting our bulk snacks, but we're also gonna get our protein shakes and just, this one's gonna be pretty big, you guys. Ooh. We need to stock up, we need to get our groceries, and it's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna take you guys inside with us, and then we're gonna take you home after that and show you literally everything, everything we, we got. got. All right, you guys, so here we are, Costco, Saturday, and let's see, um, Let's see how crowded it is inside. We have, it's about an hour before close and there was quite a few open parking spaces which is always a good sign when you're at Costco. All right, you guys, we made, we made it, it in. in. <laughs> All right, gonna do that. let's go get some fruit. Hey guys, so comment down below and let us know. Um, here at Costco, we always get the rotisserie chicken. We really like the scalloped potatoes. Comment down below if there's anything that's kind of like pre-made, kind of a frozen thing that, that you guys really like, whether it's tacos, enchiladas. Comment down below and let us know. All right, you guys, this cart is filling up oh quickly. My. I'm at the point where I'm like, oh man, should we just get a couple more items or should we get another cart? I Ooh. don't know. Cutting it close. Think we could do it? I think we could Tetris this thing. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, it's a challenge. All right, you guys, so we made it back home. This was a huge haul. Yes. Which we knew going in, it was gonna be a huge haul. We needed to stock up on some things. It's been a little bit since we've gone to Costco, and I still think we're gonna have to make another store run for more produce type things. Yes. We didn't get cucumbers or bananas, or there was a few other things that Costco didn't no have. Grandma have no Grandma yes. Sycamore bread. They didn't have Grandma Sycamore bread. They were kind of running out of stock on some things. And so we got what we could, and then we'll probably make another trip to the store this week at some point. Okay, we are starting with the freezer stuff. So we can hurry and get these into the freezer. We will start with the shredded steak and cheese burritos. And we were just talking when we were picking those up, we were like, these are actually so good. They're actually the best burritos. Frozen burritos. Yes, best frozen burritos. I don't even normally like frozen burritos. These I will eat. They're actually really, really good. I used to be a big fan of the Tina's burritos that you get at the grocery store that are really inexpensive. They are. Like two for 50 cents or two for a buck. Yeah. They're nice. And then we got these and I was like, game changer. Game changer. They're delicious. So you guys, we stock up on these. There's, um, I believe, 18 inside. All right, then we got some bagel bites. 72 bagel bites. There you go. We go through these pretty quick. The kids love them. And when Brayden was here, we would literally get two boxes. So we'd have 144 would. bagel bites and they would be gone within less than a week. Yeah, they, they go through them pretty quick. Okay, so to go along with that, of course, we got these. You guys, we're fans of these. These are really good. I've told you guys this before. They're little. They're like this big, something like that. But they're good for just like a quick little throw it in the microwave and eat it. Good, so there's a uh, six pepperoni, six four cheese pizza. And you guys know, that's when we go to Costco. Otherwise, we are big fans, or at least I am, yes. and Elijah is too, yes. of the Red, Red Baron. Baron pizzas, yeah. the French bread pizza. Yes, the rectangle oh, ones. Oh my mama. They are really good, and especially good in the oven because you get that crisp crunch that Danny loves. Oh, you know what, I'm craving them right now. You might have to go to the store then. <laughs> we just wow. got back from the store. <laughs> okay. You guys, so many of you guys have told us to get these. I don't think we've ever gotten these before from Costco. No. Can you remember? Okay. No, we would always get Trader Joe's. We would always get Trader Joe ones. So does it come? So do those come with the strawberry That's what and I was all that? Just I hope so because otherwise we would we should just have it gotten. It says acai. 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 I like, always say it wrong. Like acai. Acai. Acai bowls. 
It says blend with fruit and granola. Does that mean it's telling you to blend it with? Yeah, fruit it's granola? telling you to Should blend we it. Open it. Just otherwise, it, otherwise it would say blended with. Oh no. Oh babe. Let me check. Let me check. We are happy campers because it does come with the fruit inside the bowl. Wow. And the packet of granola with this looks like like coconut shreds or something. Wow. I so kind of wish we would have got two boxes of this. So how do you like you like defrost it? You probably just set it out to defrost it a little bit and then stir it around and mix it up. Okay. That's gonna be good. That's you guys. good. Except I would want it like when I want it, I would want it like I'd want to eat it now. I wouldn't want to wait it oh, wait for an hour. It says you can um, microwave it. Probably just to defrost it. Just set granola packet aside and. Remove the film, heat and microwave for 30 seconds, stir and heat for an additional 10 seconds. Oh. Sprinkle with granola, top, topping, and enjoy. Wow. Dang, guys. I'm I, excited about I'm this. Almost, I'm almost thinking at some point you might just have to try it. I know. In this, in this, in this grocery haul, before it ends, okay. you're going to try that. I'm game. That can be my dinner tonight. All right, you guys, let's see if we're actually going to like that. It looks really good. All right, next up, you guys, we got some of these Philly cheese steaks that we've actually never had before. Ooh. So we're going to try these out, see how they are. I'm not sure even how big these things are, but it's six wrapped sandwiches. So I'm guessing they're probably a decent size. I'm guessing they're the length of the box of or the width of the box. Should we just see? Sure, why guys, not? I just want to give you guys the full experience. Like, I want you to know the size of things. The taste of things. Oh. Can you smell that? <laughs> no. Babe. Oh, smell wow. It. Smell it's it. It's like we went to a sand. No, smell it. Ooh, it almost smells like there's um like green peppers in there. Wow. Like bell peppers. Oh, that smells so good. Let us know down below if you guys have ever had these before. I'm a fan already. Just yeah. based off the smell, I opened it. I'm like, that smells like a fruit. Actually, steak. you know what we should do? What? Tomorrow, let's do a taste test. Mm. So that acai bowl, we'll save for, we'll the, save taste for the taste test. I like test. it because we've never had those. We've never had these. And I think there might be a few other items that we've never had in yeah, before. Yeah, we'll try so those out. I like it. We're going to do a taste test, you guys. But honestly, just opening this, I'm like, dang, that smells like a Philly So good. Steak. Dang. Okay. So we'll let you guys know in the taste test. All right, boom. Celery sticks for... Me, I like peanut butter and celery. And I also want to juice. We've got a new juicer. And I I want to juice. Yeah, so we're gonna juice, juice, juice it up. And celery juice is not horrible. You guys, it's literally celery juice tastes exactly like celery. Yeah, but I I like it real cold. And you guys, yeah, comment down cold. comment down below and let us know what are some like um, juiced recipes that you that you guys like combination. Yeah. Um, I do love blueberries juiced. Juice, like yes. it's so good. It's like fruit punch. It's just expensive. Blueberries yes. are so much. I wonder if you could get them frozen and juice them that way. I feel like it's a little cheaper. Uh, or you want them fresh? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, if you guys have never done like the juicing of celery, sometimes I'll add just like a little pinch of lemon to it. Yeah. Just to be able to like actually drink it. But it's actually really, it's actually not horrible it's good it's good so anyways we got some of that to juice some of that up and then we also got some asparagus ashlyn loves asparagus i love asparagus i usually love asparagus when i go to like outback or or ruth's chris steakhouse yeah. like with steak i love like seasoned and dressed up uh asparagus can you eat asparagus raw uh, or I don't does know. It have to be cooked. I'm, I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could, right? Like yeah. Any other I'm sure veggie? you could. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of asparagus, but. Wow. I know. I wish I did. Like it's like it has that broccoli taste to me that I don't love. Mm. I like it with like butter and drizzled with parmesan. So <laughs> just good. Pour it all on. Ah, oh, so good. Some people wrap it in bacon. Oh. Yeah. Any way you can make it unhealthy, it's probably good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys. You might be seeing Ashlyn in the background. You, as you know. Ashlyn puts away the groceries we put away as we go, yep. uh, and it helps Tina out tremendously. It's actually really awesome. So, okay, next up, you guys, we got the chicken tortina soup. Ooh. We got actually four of them. So, really good. Honestly, what this would probably be good with, I haven't ever had this, so I might add this to the taste test just to try it out for you guys. Yeah. But Danny has had it, Ethan, I think most of everybody else has had it, right? Yeah. Elijah, have you had it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And it's really good. Yeah. And last time we got two of them, they're gone. And we got gone. two of the tomato basil, which. Gone. Ashton, was the tomato basil good? Yes. 
Oh. I really liked the tomato. Oh, I should have got it. So oh. I didn't think everyone really liked it. So I got Ethan, two more. Ethan liked it, but he didn't love the chunks in it. So the tomato basil, if you guys are wondering, it does have like little chunks of tomatoes in it. So. I and you know what, what Tina? Tina likes them thick yeah, like and likes some chunky. chunky. <laughs> so, but honestly, that one was really good. I just never, I didn't have this last time we got it, but I'm gonna try it maybe in the taste test. I honestly feel like this would be good with, with a little squeeze of lime in there too. Okay, why don't you just put lime on your everything. toast in the morning? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I put it on everything, I love lime. Okay, then we also got the uncooked tortina, fresca tortinas. These are the best, you guys, so we say good. it all the time. The best of the best, they're so amazing, so delicious. Takes a little extra time to cook these ones up. Not that much more time, but still really good and delicious. Next up, we needed some more peanut butter. Boom, bam, boom. We got some. <laughs> I actually, I would eat a lot more like peanut butter sandwiches or peanut butter and jelly. If? If we got the crunchy. Oh, uh, we could get the crunchy. Well, well no, not at Costco. That's yeah. yeah. So majority of the family likes the creamy. So I sacrifice. You, you know, sacrifice. You're just. Uh, that's just the martyr that I am. It is <laughs> the martyr. <laughs> okay. Then we also got some cantaloupes because you guys, I don't know, fruit right now I feel like is not really in season. So a lot of the stuff, like the fruit and stuff, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look that good, but. We'll see how these are, you guys. You know how it is. You won't know until you cut it open. Those are mainly for Ethan. Yeah, Ethan loves can. I love cantaloupe too, though, with a little bit of salt. Oh, it's so good. Okay. I know people think that's so weird, but I love it with salt. And then we also got apples. They did not have the honey crisp apples, so we got the. Are these? I can't remember what these ones. They're are. the envy, I think. Oh yeah, the envy apples. So we'll see how they are. You guys know we're all a little bit picky about our apples, but we figure. If we don't, if we don't like these ones, we'll juice them. So we could do that too. All right, next up, you guys, we got our salads, which they had this time the chicken BLT with creamy ranch dressing. That actually looks really good. But it comes in like a two pack, just like that. So we got a two pack of that, and then we got a two pack of the blueberry walnut and feta salad with grilled chicken, which actually looks really yummy too. So we got these two salads, you guys, just for a quick like, lunch just eat it up and as you guys know we actually have our garden that is in our house is like amazing and it's ready to eat and some of the fan bammers or one of the fan bammers mentioned that with the butterhead lettuce we need to use it with tuna tuna so we'll put some tuna in there i'll probably put a little lime on it oh my god <laughs> sounds good i don't know oh. so yeah our lettuce is already actually i was like okay so we got the hamburgers this is these are the hamburgers we always get and I was thinking in my head, I'm like, oh crap, we forgot to grab like a head of lettuce or whatever. I'm like, we don't need to get a head of lettuce. That's we right. We have lettuce over there. So you guys, and it's growing fast. Fast growing. So I'm excited to use that and eat that up. And then we also got just the Caesar salad. You guys know we love our lazy salads. We got not one, not two, but three Whoa. Caesar salads because the kids will eat these up literally, you guys. For lunch, we can add a little bit of the rotisserie chicken in here, just kind of spice it up a little bit, but they love, they love, love, love the Caesar salad. And then also some avocado. Avocados. Avocados, so yeah, you guys know, we always get them from here. There's six in here, takes a little bit for them to ripen it up a little bit, but not too, too long. So there's those. Then we also got some hot doggios. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's the beef hot dogs. <laughs> Which actually, I like the beef hot dogs more than like, you know the ones that look like plastic? Ew. Actually, I don't ever eat these, period. I just, I'm not a hot dog fan. I like them, like Emberlin and I like them like cooked up for breakfast. You just kind of slice them and yeah. slice breakfast? and dice them. Yeah. Do you eat it with ketchup? Yes. Ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the kids will eat these like, this, these are good for a quick lunch. We bought some buns also. They'll last a while because it comes in these three, this three pack, which is awesome. Okay, we also got some salami for sandwiches. You guys know the kids love their salami sandwiches. So just grabbed a big old pack of that. This comes in like literally a mega pack. And we kind of strayed away from sandwiches a little bit since home, like, online schooling. Yeah. Um, but I kind of want to get back into make, having them like kind of prepared like a school lunch every once in a while. Yeah. Um, 
just because they're not eating those sandwiches. Yeah, they're not. I mean, I think they've had so many years of sandwiches at school that yeah. they're like literally over sandwiches. So I, I totally get that. Like literally, sometimes I will just whip this up with some like an apple or something on the side and they totally love it. Yeah. So that is the nice thing about online school is we can switch up lunches and kind of get a little more creative with it and not have to worry about like the Vegas heat and things wilting and all that stuff, so. Or you could even have leftovers from dinner too. Exactly, so that's kind of nice. Next up, we got some eggs. And my goal with these eggs, because we still do have some eggs in the fridge, is to make some hard boiled eggs for this week just to like throw it in a quick salad or whatever. I love eggs on my salad, I think it's Ooh. so good. And it's good protein. Yeah, I agree, so, I do love it on in uh, salads. Yeah, but here's the thing, I have the worst luck with making hard boiled eggs. <laughs> Like literally the worst life. Usually I will do one whole batch and it will be ruined. Because what? It's so annoying. I don't That's know what I'm true. doing wrong. So what do you do with that batch? You just got, what do you do? She mashes them. <laughs> oh, oh, you are an egg masher. No, there was Go to the corner timeout. She's talking about a time I was trying to make deviled eggs and I was literally, you guys know how it is when it's not working out to take the pill off the egg and it's like, just like, one little piece at a time, and then it's like it starts taking off the actual egg. What did you and do? And then one day, what did I do? She got mad, and then she got the eggs. Goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what? I was literally like, oh, and I smashed it in my hand. Oh. I was like, no. Be honest though. <laughs> then we all started laughing because I was Jeez. like, this was out of control. Be honest though. What? Did it feel good? Yes, I'm so <laughs> mad at the eggs. I'm like, what is going on? Because oh. I do exactly what. They tell you you're supposed to do with like taking it out of the water, putting it in cold water. Did it, did you did exactly? That. Yes. Well, you're supposed to do it exact exactly. <laughs> I didn't do it exactly. That's, That's why. Dig it. So I gotta do that next time. But what I think it is, is they say like brand new eggs, they don't do it, as, like they don't pill as well. Oh. I don't think people really know. But no. To be honest. You go pill. <laughs> Sometimes it's luck. Did I say pill? pill? I say, Peel, peel, I just want to see pull, pull, pull. smash the eggs again. No. Oh! oh! <laughs> Ashlyn and Everly were both in here and we just all started laughing. I was like, this is ridiculous. Oh, anyways. Okay, so we also got some chicken little soup. Ooh. We're going to try this out maybe out in the taste test also because I don't think we've had these before, but oh. It's a little open. A little drippy, drippy. Well, I think when we were loading it or whatever, it kind of cracked it. a little oh. bit. So. Anyways, we're gonna still try this out. This was like 10 bucks for this thing, which is kind of a lot, so I don't know if we would do that again, but it's basically rotisserie chicken in here and just everything for chicken noodle soup. We'll let you guys know if it's worth it or not. I really like Progresso like chicken noodle soups. I know you do, you do. Mm -hmm. I prefer the Campbell's. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. There's I prefer Campbell's or homemade chicken noodle soup, which we have done oh, and yes. it is amazing. We do have a cook with me on that. Yeah, on the other channel, right? I don't know. I think it's on the other channel, but oh my, so good. Okay, next up, you guys. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this. Wow. What did we find here? Actually, I think I have gotten this before. That's like your candy. Now, I don't, it's so weird, right? Like, I love chopping up cucumbers, having my dip, and just eating it. It's so good. I know the dip isn't the best for you, but you know, it's so good. It's so good. So, Anyways, we saw this there, and I, like, in my mind, I felt like I'd never had it before, but I feel like I've definitely yeah. really gotten this before. I think you have, too. I don't know why I got so excited, as if I didn't know. It was she was like, oh, I didn't like, know what? they had it. <laughs> like, I had hearts in my eyes, like, what? I was, I was a little jelly. <laughs> jelly of the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we got some of this, you guys. No more buying those little packets at the store all the time. So, bam, we're stocked up on that. Then we also got some corn tortinas because I like to make the hard shell tacos like in oil. Yeah, and I was also thinking about those soft corn tortillas with the barbacoa. Oh yes, so this is the barbacoa that we will be making some tacos with and just wrapping them up in the corn tortinas. So then we also got some coffee house cinnamon rolls. Boom. Guys, honestly, these are the best. These, the lemon bites, and the brownie bites that you can get that all kind of look like this are so good. And they're so perfect for like, if you're hosting like a little party and you want to bring like a quick appetizer or dessert or whatever, perfect. These are perfect for that. So there's those. And then also rotisserie chicken, five bucks. I think it's, yeah, five bucks. Yeah, you guys, cheap as can be. Real good to break apart, put in the Hawaiian, um, Dang it. 
it. What? I forgot to get that sauce. Oh, the cilantro? Yeah. Don't we have some still? Gone. Oh. That actually expires pretty quick. I think within like a month to two months. Well, you know what I like? I like to take a little bit of salt, sprinkle it on the chicken. It's good. And then I take a very thin layer of mayonnaise and put it on the bread. Oh. And you guys. Just eat it up. So good. Yeah, and a lot of the time, sometimes too, if I'm making it into like a dinner, I'll put it on the Hawaiian rolls, I'll cut them open, put it on, and then put some cheese on top. And then I'll put them in the oven to like melt the cheese and it kind of crisps up the Hawaiian roll. Easy peasy, but so delicious. All right, next up, you guys, we got some oatmeal. Let us know down below. Do you guys like to get the combo packs of the oatmeal? Because sometimes I feel like one goes and then the others kind of are like, Meh. Yeah, but I was thinking like this is even. A good combo, though. Yeah, it's a good combo to the point where if there was leftovers, I, I will eat them. Like yeah. I like them all for the Ooh, most part. Let me see. Um, Ashes we got cinnamon, water. apple, and maple. Ooh. Which one are you going for? Cinnamon and apple. Oh, there's no cinnamon and apple. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. Apple. Oh, apples and cinnamon. There's 15 packs. Oh, to the maple and brown sugar and the apples. And Which so you like them all. We know that because, look, there's 15 of the apples and cinnamon, 27 of the maple and brown sugar. Cinnamon and spice have 10. Yeah. So you know which one's popular. I love the maple. Okay. And I make my um, oatmeal this Quaker oatmeal with milk. Yeah, let us know. Do you guys make it with milk or water? I do water. Ash, what do you do? Water. Water. She has water too. So some people like it creamier. I think the milk does that. I don't know. I don't like milk so much, but. Okay, next up you guys. This might look familiar. We are back. back. You guys, we actually really love our Zip Fizz. We just have not gotten it for so long, but I'm trying to make a commitment not to drink as many uh, energy drinks. Yeah. I know, don't lecture me. Don't lecture me. I know they're bad for you. I should not drink them. So I am going to try my best to stick to the Zip Fizz because we love Zip Fizz, you guys. The, the flavors of these are delicious. And I'm going to just say right now that the, what is it, the fruit punch one, the red one? Yeah. It's the best one. But you know what? Even the orange is good they're I mean, all good as long as they're cold like they ice cold they're cold. so good yeah they have to be cold like that yeah. they're not as good when they're warm like i've taken them kind of to like use them as like a pre-workout which we have our c4 workout that i actually really like too so between this and that i should be good no energy dreams tina and uh yeah don't lecture me in the comments i know <laughs> all right so I grabbed some of this. It's the creamy Alfredo sauce. I typically will make my own Alfredo sauce because it's really easy and really delicious. But I saw this, I'm like, ah, this actually sounds really good. And it could be good for a night where we're like, we have soccer practices or something and I just need to like pour something in real quick. So this is a creamy Alfredo sauce. It's the Sonama, Sonama Gourmet. And I think you, we can use this if you finally make the Olive Garden oh, breadsticks. That's what I need to do. Yes, comment down below if you guys want Tina to make her Olive Garden breadsticks. We've already done two other Olive Garden copycat recipes. So we let's, should do that. let's try to do the why Olive Garden breadsticks. Why does bread intimidate me so bad? I don't, I don't know, know I'll why. do it then, I'm gonna do it. You know what, I'm, I'm doing gonna it. Do no, it. I'm no, gonna do it. No, no, Danny, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> no, but for real. Okay, so the other thing I liked about this is, I think this is like a, it's got good ingredients in here. I was looking, it's like just like vegetable stock, vegetable broth, like nothing like too crazy bad for you. So anyways, it's gonna take both of these to feed us one time. What's the brand? This is the Sonama. Okay, comment Sonama down below and let us know if you've had the Sonama Alfredo sauce. Yeah, let me know if it tastes good, you guys, because to, honestly, to me, some of the jarred Alfredo sauce does not taste the best. I think this is gonna call for a taste test. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we yeah, can cook up some it. like garlic bread or something and then dip it in. Yeah. Okay. Croissants. Amberlynn actually saw these because you guys, when we unpack the car, we call in the troops. You guys, oh, yeah. That is one of the good things about having like all kids who are old enough to help. They're literally like, we're marching out there. We can get this Costco stuff in like that. Have you guys ever really nice. um, saw the lady who has like, a huge jaw on TikTok? Uh uh. And she did a video where it was like a whole croissant. <laughs> And just to show how big her mouth is, she fit it all in her mouth. Like what? going this way? No, she just fit the whole thing in her like, mouth. Like, oh, dad could do that easy. Oh, I don't <laughs> know. No, it was crazy though. She just, yeah. Just like, oh. Yeah. Wow. wow. All right, well, there you go. You guys, try it out for yourself. I don't know. 
No, but these are a staple. These are a favorite. The kid, Emberlyn especially loves these. Not Danny loves Emberlyn's these. The only one. No, really? Uh, like I eat them. Yeah. Too, I like, eat them. They're good, but they're too dry. No way, but not like, right now. Try maybe it. Maybe if you put some like meat or something in that. Yeah, I like yeah. it with egg and bacon and little cheese, mm. and you can I make a little croissant. Like lettuce, ham, and mustard. Okay, go oh, for it. That's, that's good. good. But you that's know good. what would be good is like an uh, egg salad sandwich. Yeah, and we young. actually, I used to actually get that with the um, Costco chicken salad. Chicken salad. Okay, just real quick, I'm gonna show you the bread products, you guys. They were out of a lot of bread. They didn't have the grandma sycamore bread. It was kind of like empty shelves. So, but we do love this. These are the. This is the Dave's Killer Bread. This is the white bread done right. So, and we also like the other one, which is I don't know what it's called, but it's like the more wheat, honey wheat looking one. So there's those, and then we also got some French bread, which is actually really delicious for garlic bread. Then hamburger buns, hot dog buns, and then the Hawaii, King's Hawaiian rolls Ooh. that we love. So there's all of our like breaded products. We also got a big old thing of green beans, which is upside down. Upside down. But I feel like the Del Monte is the best. Del Monte. Yeah, so I really like these. I think they're the best and I like the green beans cut. Do you guys prefer a specific cut on your green beans? Some like, you know how many different cuts there are? You can slice them like till they're open. There's like the French cut, <clears throat> there's the, like this, this is like the cut, they're like cut in half, then you have the full ones. Anyways, does it matter to you guys or you just grab them? As long as they're salted a little bit, I'm good. I know, I like a little salt. Then we also got some muscle, muscle milk. Oh, oh. My absolute favorite. Danny loves this one. On the go protein drink. Yep, so this is the muscle milk. It's non dairy, low fat protein shake. It comes with what? How many are in here? 18. 18. So there's 18 in here, 20 grams of protein. Zero sugar. Zero, yeah, zero sugar. And um, the kids actually sometimes like these for in the mornings just to kind of grab and go. Because number one, Elijah's not, I think I've said this before though, Elijah's not a huge breakfast person, um, but he will take this and just have it. And so yeah. at least he has like that protein in the morning if he's not feeling like breakfast. And then we also got these vitamin waters. Ooh, so we've got the lavender, we've got the pomegranate, and we've got the lemonade. Lemonade. So which one would you choose? Count of three. Know. Count of three. Kay. Ready? One, two, three. Pomegranate. pomegranate. Finally, mark this day on your calendar. <laughs> we finally agreed on one. So, and these flavors, you guys, we've gotten this before. All of these flavors are really good. Yeah. To us, they are. These the are lavender is a little the like, lavender, soapy. I like it. It's a little soapy oh, for me. it's soapy for you. Okay. Yeah. I actually really like it. And it's better, obviously, these are better cold, just like every other drink, I feel like. So there's those. And then, then we also got a box of chips. Which actually, we just ran out of our other box of chips. Yeah, there's 54 so, of the classics. That's why I like the classic mix, because there's a lot. There is a lot. So, you guys know the drill. What are we doing? What are we picking tonight? Which Ooh. chip are you going for? Ready, on the count of three. One, two, three. Barbecue. Cheetos. Dang it. Dang, I almost did Cheetos, almost. <laughs> you should have, Dang. star. Okay, so there's that. And then, you guys, we got two cases of water and a pack of toilet paper, and we spent a little over $400. $404. $404. Not too bad, actually. I feel like it's very comparable to what we got last time, which yes. was a decent size haul, uh -huh. but what kicked up the price last time was that bed over there that Jasper's sitting on. Yes, that they love. Oh, they didn't have them this time either, uh -uh. otherwise I would have grabbed another one. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is our Costco grocery haul. We love Costco. A lot of our staples, a lot of new things that we're gonna try for you guys in the taste test coming up, so stay tuned for that. I say we do $25 Visa gift card. Oh, dang! dang. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do a gift card. We're gonna, well, gift card or? No, Venmo. Okay, so we're gonna do a $25 Venmo or PayPal, whichever that you guys have, you guys know. It's just easy for us just to send it to you guys that way. So, for you guys to enter, all you have to do is, guys, at the end of this video, when this video ends and it goes to the very end of this video, there will be a video that pops up on your screen. Click on that video, watch that video, comment your favorite part of that video, and then hashtag grocery haul giveaway, and then you are entered into the giveaway. And then we will announce it in our next live mukbang. 
Ooh. which will be during the week, probably yes, most likely up. like a Thursday or a Friday. Yeah. Um, we'll get that up. Yeah, so that'll be coming up very soon. So make sure you guys hurry over there, go enter, and that's it from us tonight, you guys. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget... Choose your day!